Um, being brought to be a movie. Um, I was just wondering what's been you excited to actually film from the city of Ashton? Um, we, we, <laughs> we, got asked, we, got asked this, we got asked this question yesterday on Twitter, didn't we? Yeah, there was, yeah. Um, the thing is, with obviously with, with it being turned into a film, um, you know, we're not entirely sure what's going to be stayed in, what's going to be left out, so I don't want to say something and then you'd be like, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be sick, and then we're not to be in there. I mean, I think for me, I'm really looking forward to Jace just being even more petulant and depressed. Particularly <laughs> um, <laughs> at the beginning. Um, pining. Um, and... Aww. Aww. Yes, no. Is this just the grow up? No. <laughs> or is it? Who hasn't read the books? <laughs> So, um, you know, I'm looking for, I mean, this is just very generic. I really am looking forward, working-wise and filming-wise, to more of the character development with all the other guys and all the other actors. And just to going back and getting to sort of kick a little bit more butt as well. Like, I'm down with that. I always, you know, hey, I, if I get to wield the sword one more time, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Someone has nothing to do with the movie. I get to say, I really want to see a scene on the boat with Jamie and uh, my countryman Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Ed. it's quite a passionate scene. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's intimate, I would say. And uh, over there, you have the grey. <laughs> oh, boy. Try shouting. You could shout. Yeah, you yeah, there. Um, hello. Uh, and um, if you couldn't, obviously you're playing Jace, but if you couldn't, who would you play and why? If I could play anyone else? Yeah. Madam Dorothea. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could do that character some serious justice. <laughs> Big time. Great time. You should see me gardening. Woo! Look, there you go. <laughs> uh, let me The atmosphere on set was terrible. We all hate each other. <laughs> uh, no, it was amazing. I mean, I've said I've said this before, and, and, I'll, and I'll continue to say it. I think you know, we were all. I think the entire cast and the entire team that has worked on this, we were all brought together for a very specific reason that I think is sort of above and beyond me um, in a weird way. So. We all formed this like bizarre connection, and I've worked on a few things now where you come off jobs and you go, yeah, you know, like we had a great time. You know, we all had a shared interest, we all had a common bond, and we all were unified with the fact that we were making a movie or a TV show together. But with this, there seems to be something more for all of us. Um, so the atmosphere on set was constantly brilliant, um, t tiring at times, you know. Uh, there were times, of course, when we got on each other's nerves at four o'clock in the morning and <laughs> someone's trying to be serious and I'm there joking around. Um, uh, were there any inside jokes? Yeah, but if I told you, there wouldn't be any jokes. <laughs> so, needless to say, we did have an awesome time shooting and uh, there were a couple of times that I think Harold had to take more takes than perhaps he should have. <laughs> But maybe there will be some kind of a blooper reel. Oh, I, I hope so. <laughs> Did you all seem to have a beautiful relationship uh, when I met Kevin? He's like, I love Jamie. Jamie has changed my life. And I was like, oh, that's beautiful. He turned out to be talking about uh, uh, his girlfriend, Jamie. But, uh, I like it. I'm getting married to him. It's legal in California. Obviously, um, Cassie's written a lot about like, well, 
um, previous members of Jace's family. I just wondered if you looked at any of them for inspiration for Jace because he's so complex. Um, I suppose, in honesty, no, I didn't. I mean, I didn't. I didn't go. It was funny when I was cast in the role. When I was when I was first called up for the screen test for the chemistry read with Lily. Um, I read I read both books one and two, and then um, and then upon getting the role, I read all the books that were available. Um, and then going back to shoot the first movie, I actually specifically focused on movie one, um, on book one for movie one. And that's something that I do when I work, because I don't like to sort of cloud my vision too much. Um, so obviously within within the first book, we're introduced to Valentine, and obviously Jace, you know, discovers or believes that he is. Valentine's son. Um, so I suppose that subconsciously maybe I drew stuff from Valentine. I think also with the casting process as well, Jonathan and I have a very similar look as well and I think we're both, we both put quite an intensity to our specific roles and I think that they saw that. Um, and, and so, in all honesty, no, <laughs> is, my, is my answer. Is my answer. I like to focus on them as individuals, you know. I think we're all individuals. Yes, we are imprinted, and yes, we know transference, but um, I think he has his own specific part and his own specific plan. Oh, I mean, you can tell they're brother and son because they make the same cheekbone space. Uh, I promised the cat from TMI source that she could ask a question, but I can't see her. She's right there. Alright. Uh, which one do you be? Ah, uh, the one that you were talking about when you interviewed him. Okay, so, um, hi Jenny, I'm Catherine to my source. Hey. Thank you, first of all, for um, agreeing to... I feel um, like I'm being set up here. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, thank you very much for the TMI shout-out that you did last year. No worries. So, um, you once said that you um, would get uh, more instruments tattoo, and... Will you get one, and what will it be? I am getting a Mortal Instruments tattoo. Yay! <laughs> um, I, uh, it's taken me a while to sort of figure out what it was that I was going to get. I didn't know whether it was going to be a rune, I didn't know whether it was going to be a quote, I didn't know what, and then I decided on a quote, and then I sort of went to To Love Is To Destroy, and then I was like, To Love Is To Destroy is pretty dark. <laughs> It's not like the nicest thing you want to be seeing on somebody. Um, so I'm going to dig myself a hole here and tell you all what it's going to be. Um, it's going off my back and um, it's, a, it's a quote um, and it is... Um, oh, I don't know what it's going to be. It is, I am after all what you made me. It's not like on the lower back, it's not like a tram stamp. I should make that plainly clear. It's all For like TMT, you know, like snapping. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I for one am terribly disappointed. <laughs> so we have time for one more question and then I believe we might have a surprise. Yes, yeah. something <laughs> special for you.
Um, I would like to do something for you all just to say thank you for coming. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. I'd like to play you a couple of songs if that's okay. My thing is falling off.